Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I've got Remington, it's it's Winchester. I'm gonna leave that in. Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I've got Winchester Big Bore, their 240 grain semi-jacketed hollow point load in 44 Magnum. And here is the absolutely awesome box for this Winchester Big Bore 44 mag ammo. I freaking love the bear design. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Here's some real good promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. They're talking about expansion penetration, reliable performance. We'll see if we can get all that. And here is your ballistics table. Muzzle velocity of 1485 feet per second. And note, it says this is from an eight and three eighths inch barrel. So this is handgun information. We are gonna be shooting this out of an 18 inch barreled carbine. So it'll be really interesting to see how much more velocity we get, if any. I'm expecting some cool performance out of this stuff. Let's yank one out and take a look. Big exposed lead hollow point tip. I am really looking forward to this. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And the test rifle today is my vintage Ruger 9644 carbine, chambered in 44 mag, of course. It's got an 18 inch barrel. And up top, I've got a Leopold Ultralight 2.5X scope. And coming on back, of course, I've got one of my leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming on around to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my black bear design. We'll be taking three shots from 50 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's look at the velocities for that Winchester Big Bore 240 grain 44 Magnum load. Our high was 1756 our low 1745 very tight spread there and our average was 1750 and we are down at the blocks after shooting that winchester big bore 44 mag 240 grain semi-jacketed hollow point and we did manage to capture all three bullets and we got you know somewhat consistent penetration here let's go ahead and talk about it 22 inches 23 inches and then the other one eh, it's not quite 24. I'm going to call that last one 23 and a half. And looking at them, they did flatten out nicely on the nose of the bullet. They did keep going straight. They didn't turn or tumble or anything like that. They just kept on driving. Coming on back to the first block, we have some pretty shallow wound cavity. Looks like it starts to open up uh, at about the one inch mark. Coming on back, it starts to taper off pretty quickly. Really about the four inch mark, it's tapering down and then they just keep on penetrating. Let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. And here they are, those Winchester Big Bore 240 grain bullets fired from the 44 mag, recovered from the ballistics gel. Look at how perfectly mushroom these things are. They are almost perfectly concentric all the way around. Beautiful expansion on these things. But first let's hit weight retention. We saw 221, 222, and 222 grains respectively for an average of about 222 grains extremely consistent that works out to 92 percent weight retention excellent performance there and then on to expansion we saw 0 0.6 inches 0 0.61 and 0 0.61 inches so again very consistent expansion an average of about 0 0.61 inches expanded diameter and that's 1.4 x expansion on to velocity our high was 1756 our low was 1745 for an average of 1750 versus the factory build velocity of 1485. But keep in mind, the box sighted an eight and three eighths inch barrel, no doubt from a revolver. So yeah, we're gonna get some higher velocity out of an 18 inch barreled Ruger 9644. And we gained 265 feet per second over the factory spec from a revolver. On to penetration, great penetration, also very consistent. 
22 inches, 23 inches, and 23 and a half inches for an average of about 23 inches of penetration. I think that's perfect for your white-tailed deer, wild hog hunting, stuff like that. And kinetic energy wise with a 240 grain bullet going on average 1,750 feet per second, we're looking at 1,632 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on the Winchester Big Bore 44 mag load, that big 240 grain bullet. This stuff did really, really well. Just prior to testing this ammo, I tested the Federal Hammer Down 44 Magnum load, and that stuff set the bar high. This stuff is right there with it. Weight retention was great, 92% weight retention. Expansion was pretty good, 1.4x expansion. And remember, this is a 44 mag. The bullet's already big. It doesn't have to get a whole heck of a lot bigger to be huge. 1.4x is pretty good for a 44 magnum. Velocity wise, excellent. We saw 1,750 feet per second on average out of the 18 inch barrel of my Ruger 9644. And the box spec, was 1,485, but that's from an eight and three eighths inch barrel. So by shooting this stuff out of a rifle, you're getting quite a bit more velocity. And then penetration was also excellent, 23 inches on average, very consistent penetration between 22 inches and 23 and a half inches. That's beyond the 20 inch mark that I like to see for medium game hunting. If I'm hunting with a 44 Magnum out of a rifle, this stuff really is right there neck and neck with Federal Hammer Down. Overall, I think I like personally the Hammer Down a little bit better, but big caveat, 44 mag out of a rifle, your rifle might be finicky about what ammo it shoots more accurately. So if it were up to me and I had both of these different loads, Hammer Down and this Winchester Big Bore stuff, and my rifle shot the Winchester Big Bore a bit more accurately, I would not hesitate to make it my number one choice. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.